today I wanted to do a little bit more Elixir, but I wanted to publish a new package for Uber. Off. So I thought I would create a Uber auth package. So that is what we are going to do today. So thought we go through all the motions in order to meet that goal. So we're going to be figuring out what to do. We're going to want to look up docs for hex. So docs usage. So publishing a package. So we're going to follow this guide. So it should say you'll be prompted with the for username, email address, email and password. The email is used to confirm your identity during sign up. As well as contact you in case you if there's an issue with one of your packages, the email will never be shared with a third party. So that's to register a user and set things up. We're already registered. Before publishing, you have to choose the name of the, of your package. Remember that the package is published to X are, are public and access by anyone in the community. It's also responsibility with me to pick and encourage good package names. So I want to avoid, you know, using offensive words, reserved, you know, existing packages that could collide. So you want to namespace stuff. Well, let's take a look at, let's take a look at X because we're going to be making an Uber off a version for it. We're going to be publishing Uber off Patreon. The naming scheme for mo for most of the Uber off uh, strategies is that, that it has to, it, it's just Uber off underscore the, the thing. So our package name is going to be. Uber off Patreon self explanatory Great. So we decided on that. And then the package is configured in the project function. So then we have to, we have to configure the package here. So we have yet to actually generate our own project yet. So let's see. Oh, we're going to be using mix to generate our project. So after we decide the name of our project, now we need to generate our project using mix. Let's create our, our first project by, by invoking mix new with the command line options. We'll pass in the project path as the argument KV. By default, the application name and the module name will be retrieved from the path. So we'll tell Mix that our main module should be all uppercase KV instead of default, which would be K and V. So we do Mix new, and we're going to be calling this Uber off. And Patreon is what we decided. Uber off Patreon. So now we have our project generated. CD under, so now if we just follow the instructions, we have CD, Uber off Patreon and mix test. And that should compile and run everything. Let's make sure to do that. All right. Our project done, generated, we're in there. We're good. Now we need to configure all adding metadata to the mix EXS file to set up everything. So we're going to open this up in VS code. Alrighty. So now we're going to go inside of our mix, mix EXS file. And we're going to start updating all of our metadata information. So let's take a look at this. 
So first for make sure our version is properly set. So we're going to be following semantic versioning. So uh, if, uh, since we'll say that this version is 1.0, let's just go with that. It's our first official version and we'll, we'll just do 1.0. And then we want to fill in the description should, should contain, should be a sentence or, or sentences described in the package. So description, our description is We'll just be short and sweet in its Uber off strategy for Patreon or Patreon OAuth short and sweet. All right. So the name of our package. So the name of the package, in case you want to publish the package with a different name than the application name. By default, this is set to the same as the name of your OTP application, having the same value as the project.app. So Uber all Patreon is solid. We don't have to worry about that. Organization, the package belongs to. The package will be published to the organization repository, defaults to global. Yes, that's fine too. Licenses. So we will, for our license, we'll make it uh, MIT. Because that is, we have, and it's licenses, not license. To improve the documentation generated by XDoc, uh, the following fields can also be supplied as part of the project. Sure. We'll add this in, but we won't populate just yet. Because we won't have, we don't have the, we don't have the source URL or the homepage URL just yet, because we're, we're creating a brand new project, but we'll, we'll go ahead and throw those in at the moment. Okay. I think we're just about good on that setup. So the next thing we're going to do is the documentation I've published to hex docs when you publish your package. So now we're, we're going to be covering documentation. Documentation set up automatically hex docs. If you want to publish package itself, then you can run hex publish package. Similarly, if you want to republish, yeah, before publishing documentation, hex will build the documentation by running your mix docs task to make sure it's up to date. The main documentation tool for Elixir is X doc provides this task for, so you don't add it. So if, so X doc provides this task. So if you, if you add it as a dependency, you don't have to do anything else to get automatic documentation builds, when you publish your package checks, check out X doc documentation for X docs for information, how to configure your docs. We recommend building your docs locally with mixed docs before publishing. Finally, check, take a look at Elixir guide for writing documentation for just best practices. If you want to, and we'll just use X, we'll just use X doc. So let's, let's proceed with trying to set that up. So X doc is a tool for generating documentation, has all sorts of cool features. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we're going to add that as a dependency. So now let us open up the terminal and we'll go ahead and run mix depth skip. So I'll make a pull in the information from your project, like application version. However, if you want to set the name source URL homepage to have nicer upload docs, such as this. So we already have, we're already covering that. We're going to be setting the, the GitHub and everything there too. And we'll probably link over to the readme for our project as part of everything. We'll comment these out for now, except for the readme. We want to, we'll link to the readme. 
So yeah, so that's all we actually have to do to gen to set up XDoc. So if we do mix docs, alrighty. So if we wanted to actually take a look at what the mix docs is, what I like to do is I like to use npx serve and I and then point to index HTML. And that's going to kick off a tiny little web server that we can use to, to see the index file. Oop, maybe. There we go. So now if we go to localhost, about 4,000, the 3,000, boom, we actually have the documentation up and running. That's a nice clever, if you have NPM installed, you could run just a NPM doc and quickly spin up a web server to, to, to host those files and check things out. So licenses, we'll make it into an array. So we're just going to kind of look at this and take things, check things out, depths, name, source. We have a description. We'll go ahead and update the, we'll go ahead and add links here. And just empty this out for now. All righty. We've configured our package. Now we need to actually build it out. Luckily I've already done most of the legwork for the actual coding. So that's not going to be, that's not going to be too much of a problem for us. So we have the, uh, Uber off Patreon. And the way this is going to work. So and what I'm going to do here. We're going to go ahead and eliminate this. So we have our project set up. Uh, so the way this is going to work out is, is we're going to have our library and then we're going to have a, one folder called Patreon. And then inside that folder, because of the way most Uber off packages are structured, we're going to have another folder called strategy. And then actually in that, and then in that folder, actually, hold on, this should actually be called Uber off strategy. And then. We're gonna have another folder in here called Patreon. So this is the structure that we're gonna be following for our, for our stuff. So we have this set up and I've already done the legwork for this, as I mentioned before. So we're actually gonna take, we're gonna. So I, so the reason why I know the, the structure, and this is always a good idea when taking a look at other, other projects is so when doing the Uber auth strat work, I took a look at the Uber auth library and they actually link over, they actually link to strategies. So I just jumped over and took a look, randomly looked at different strategies and I just took a look. So like I randomly clicked on the discord strategy and oh yeah, I just realized you can't even see. Let's do it right here. And I took a look at the project structure. So again, a good tip is when you're browsing, uh, source code, you can put, you can click, press the period button on GitHub and it opens up a web editor, makes browsing the code a lot easier. So you can see, uh, the structure here is mirroring ours. 
I made a lib, Uber auth. I made strategies of Patreon. Now watch this. So Uber auth, Discord, stra Uber auth strategy, Discord, and then that. So that's going to be our structure of how the modules should be included for our project. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and create the different files. So under strategy, I'm going to be creating a Patreon file and, and then inside the Patreon folder, we're going to be including, we're going to be creating a file that's going to contain our OAuth, the, the, the OAuth, the implementation details. Alrighty. So now with all those files made, let's uh, define our We're going to create, we're going to copy and paste some code. From a different project. So here's the first set of code. So since we're going to be interfacing with Uber auth, we actually need a couple more dependencies because now that we're doing the code, we need to integrate with Uber auth. So we need to actually install Uber auth. Along with Uber auth, we're also going to need the OAuth too, Jim. To version 210. Let's actually make sure that that is the actual latest version of OA. It's actually 2.0. Now, next steps get. So now that we have those dependencies and we copy and paste this. This is good. We'll, we'll worry about the documentation in just a little bit, but for now we're just working on adding this in. So we've added in the Patreon one. Now we need to actually add in the OAuth integration, which we've already developed separately. So that actually should be most of the stuff that kind of most of the stuff that we need. There's still a couple other extra steps that we have to do. So we added the basics into here that are required for our pay for, for our, in our case, our Patreon package, we've already developed everything that we need, but we need to go through and shore up, you know, some loose ends. So our Patreon integration is missing. A couple things. So as part of the Patreon flow, so we have, we haven't, we don't have info, info implemented and as part of the callback flow, we do fetch a user. And that does return back information about the user. Uberoth is very particular about the shape of our, of its data because it's defined its own struct. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the documentation. See if we can enhance our info object to include anything else, anything extra we might want after when we make a a call to identity, V2 identity. So our infostruct takes in a number of things. First name, last name, nickname, email. When we do the identity call, 
during our callback phase for our OAuth, we do a call to get batch and to get the Patreon user. Let's go ahead and try configuring this so that we can actually populate the different fields here that we might want. We have, so we definitely have access to name or email. Yeah, access to a name. Now I'm just going to set these to empty strings for now as we go through. So that information is going to be contained inside our Patreon user. So Patreon user. Data. Attributes. Email. Name. So I think we have everything we need for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and start updating the documentation for these modules just to make sure everything makes sense. Handles the initial redirect because now that we're, now that we've kind of done, we've copy and pasted your, my code, my implementation for, for this package and for your package, you're going to have your own code. It's always good to, you know, make sure that you have your docs up to date because when you do mix docs, it'll output this and it'll be very informative for people to use. Alrighty. Documentation's good. Let's actually try. Run mix docs. Try serving that up just to take a look how, how everything looks thus far. API reference for Uber auth Patreon. So that's just the, the, the standard like description for stuff for, um, this is the readme. And these are the actual modules. So if we take a look at one of these modules here. All right. So, I mean, we, we've, we've copy paste code that I've developed before. We have this package, but the challenge is we need to test this package. So let's try getting a project up and running to test this package locally. We don't have to push this up to, uh, to hex. We can try to install this locally. So now we have to actually try to test this package in a project. So I'm going to go up a directory and let's try generating a new project. Test. And we're just going to create a PHX test Patreon. Do we want to install the dependencies? As sure as heck we do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to just scaffold. We're going to add in a Dello configuration file. So we're going to try it this way. This is going to solve all our database issues because we're going to be running this in an entirely Dockerized environment, even the code itself. All we have to do is make sure to update this Docker compose file to have the app in here. And then what I'm going to do here is then relaunch this inside the container that is our dev container. So we're just letting the, the contain the image build that we're going to be developing inside of. Let's make sure we do our mix steps get and then mix that up. I guess while this is going on, let's go ahead and 
update the readme. Since I've, since in the past, I've done this before where I've, I've made an Elixir Uber auth integration. Why not? Just copy and paste from something I've already done. So we're creating Uber auth Patreon. So this is what our readme looks like. And we're actually just to test with this read readme works out nicely. We're going to test this. So it looks like our setup mix setup worked out just fine. So now let's go ahead and try to install our package. The best, so the best way we can potentially install this package is we can, so either you can try to do local file installation or you can push this to GitHub because we're using a dev container and it's a dockerized environment. It want to have access to our local, our local file structure. So the best thing we could do in this situation is try publishing this package to GitHub where we can go ahead and pull it down from anywhere because an option for, for installation in your mix file for your dependencies is to actually pull directly from, from GitHub. So let's go ahead and initialize and publish this to GitHub. So Uber Auth Patreon is our project name. And I'm just going to go ahead and publish this publicly to my GitHub. All righty. So we have all these steps here. We have it up. So now we need to, so now I want to actually test this package, our world Patreon package in this project. So we're going to follow the guide on the readme. So we need to install the dependency for Uber Auth Patreon in our mix file. This is actually going to be from Git. So I think I can do this or not from Git, but it oh. let's see if I knew if I can remember this off the top of my head. This is wrapped quotes. All these red squiggly lines. I didn't realize it was wrapped in quotes. Ah, there we go. So I was right the first time. Sweet. We have our dependency successfully installed and, and all that and all that type of good stuff. Yeah, OAuth oh, two. All right. Now we're gonna go through the motions and we're gonna follow our very own guide to see if our guide is sufficient to setting up our projects. So we need to register a project to get things moving and grooving. Let's do that now. So we're doing test op Descriptions just test it out. Now this is required. The redirect URL will, in our case, be HTTP colon slash 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 localhost 4000 slash auth slash Patreon 
slash callback. We do have a selected category, so other. All righty, so we have that. What's next in our in our thing? So we have depths, and then we need to go in in, in our configuration file and add this in. Excellent. Next, we need to add in our, our client ID and our client's secret. Since we just generate this application and we don't care about it, we're going to be deleting it right away. I'm going to go ahead and I just put this in line. Let's do this at home, folks. Great. Next, include a Roth in your controller. So we're going to create a an auth controller. Our app name is test Patreon. That's Patreon. This is actually incorrect right here. This step right here. Where's our controller code? This is our controller code. We're going to delete all of this here because we're just testing. Use test Patreon web. So we already have changes we need to make to our guide and potentially the Twitch one. So we did that, that, this. So this is adding Uber Auth, Uber Auth to your router, not to your controller, to your router. We're going to add that to our router pipeline. I'd be consistent with these naming here.
All right. So in the router, we need to add plug Uber off. Let's add that to the top of that file. So add the request and callback routes. Right under this scope, we're going to have a scope that's off. Does that. And this. becomes test free trial web. This also gets scope to test Patreon web. Great. Now for our controller, we copy and paste the controller, which we've already done ahead of time when we figured out the issue, our auth controller. And then last comes doing the call. Let's go ahead and uh, commit these changes for the readme. Our application is officially up and running. Uh oh. Let's try that. In that case, then we'll have to tweak this. Yep, that was it. All right. Now let's kick off our OAuth Patreon flow. Invalid redirect URL. Was there a typo in here? There was a typo. Let's see now. Auth slash Patreon. Well, close. There's a typo there. We got to restart or redirect it back. But hey, because of our testing, the shape of our data wasn't exactly what we expected. The Patreon user data is actually a, a, a struct containing information. So we're going to want to change our accessors because we're, we're do, trying to do dot accessors to accessing struct. So we need to fix up package in order to do this. So the error is in our strategy Patreon. And it's when we're setting the info here.
to expect data. And then in that data, expect attributes. And then in those attributes, we expect email and name. But when I, I, I let this kind of autocomplete for me. And then here, data, attributes, we actually don't have any user information yet. So that's another thing. We actually don't even have information about the user themselves because of the scopes. So what we want out of the package and what we get from the implementation, it, there's actually a, a uh, separation between the two. So we need to fix that. Let's take a look at the Patreon documentation. So if we were going to try to get the identity, so if I wanted to get the email and the name, looks like we actually might need to fix our fetch instead. So it's not maybe the scope, but it has to do with how we're fetching the information for the identity. Cause we want, we want the attributes, email and full name current for the user with reference to all token, the basic scopes, you identify you will receive the user's public information. If you have the identity email scope, you'll also get the user's email address. You will not receive email address without that scope. So the, it's a twofold thing. If we don't have the, the scope, we can't get the email, but also we need to ask for those fields. Let's go ahead and try to include those options here. Now, when we do an OAuth request and we're specifying the scopes, it's just a list, a space, a list of scopes and spaces, nothing fancy. So, and let's update our readme to also include that step. We're configuring our application. But for ours, we're going to use the defaults, but also we will want the items to fetch the user's email also. Identity and identity email. And then when we do our request, we're going to want the, all the, all the nice details about the user. So when we do this fetch request to populate user information down here, we can grab all sorts of goodies. We got first name.
Okay, so. First name. Oh. This actually should be a uh, full. Full name gets assigned to name. We're going to be asking for all of this information here. First name, last name. Is there such thing as a nickname in here? No. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Location. Nope. Get rid of that. Now will be the description. User profile picture, thumbnail, user profile picture, but scale to 100 by 100. So we'll just grab the image URL. URLs. And URLs is a map. I guess we can just call this profile. And we're just fetching URL from the API. Well, this will be first name, last name, description is about image URL. And the last one is a straight up URL. about image URL, this last one is profile. So we've updated the readme step to include that. Yep. And then we updated it so we can actually pull in those scopes. Set that. Uh, that more in bow. Let's go ahead and push that up.
Now let's update Uber auth. It's going to go ahead and pull down the stuff. Awesome. Now let's kick off the authentication flow again. We hit an error. An invalid scope. Let's see here. I need to debug this. So let's add a debug config to the file. Cause I want to see the stuff that's flying around. So at this point, we're kind of just getting into the implementation details. All righty. So, so now we're just in the code for the depths because I want to see what the heck is going on in here. So we're not even getting to this point yet. We're in this phase right here where we're trying to authorize. So what I'm going to do here is we'll just output the client has programs have. And I'll have to recompile this. So it picks up those I the new inspect lines of code in the in the uh, dependency code. So that those are scopes right there. All right, let's try one single identity. Maybe one of those scopes is invalid. Let's see. So let's go back. So is users a valid scope? It is not. Are pledges to me Oh, so that so it is incorrect. Our scopes are invalid. So identity Identity, email, campaigns, Let us st we'll stick to identity, identity, email. Okay. Let's try this again. Ooh. Then we got to fail to authenticate. It looks like fetching the OAuth token worked, but when we were attempting to fetch information about the user, we failed. Or the scopes worked. And I'm looking at how the identity 
request went through. So that worked. But over here, so we need to update this to not to just be that full name, email, first name, last name, about image URL, URL is what I should get. I don't care about the campaign. because of how we're running the code, we have to push it to GitHub and then, and then the other project pull it down. Actually, we have to do an update. And successful. Nice. Want to do one more thing. I want to see what is inside my auth object. Little IO inspect. Let's kick off that workflow again. Look at, look at that beautiful information. Email, first name, last name, image, profile. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning information. Since we're done with that testing and everything, let's make sure that we delete our app here. Oops. There we go. So we're able to install our, we're able to start our little package, run it, integrate it with it. We follow the steps and everything should be good now. Ideal. Uber off Patreon. Let's refresh this one zero adding in the identities, cutting that, cutting that, cutting that. Configuring this, maybe we should uh, remove that little, little logger there just to, it actually isn't really needed. Alrighty. So our package looks pretty good. We tested it out. If we run our docs again, let's take a look at our docs. So we have our docs, we have the modules and we have this Uber Patreon. And then here's our readme that we made sure that works. But there's one thing I don't like about this. And that's when you go to the read, when you go to the, when you go to the default view for this, you're taken to API reference. I don't really like that. I want to, I wanted to go to the readme first. So, we, so people can just dive in. 
there is a way that you can configure it to do that. If we go to the documentation for XDoc, we can configure XDoc and tell it where, where we want to start at. In the docs in the mix EXS and the extras, we can actually tell it that we want to start in the readme. So it's called readme. Looks like. Let's see if that works. I'm never fully sure whether we can get this right the first time. Let's go to the root. And boom. So when they read, when they go to the root our documentation and taken straight to the readme where that allows them to set things up just right. Now, what is the last step that we need to do? So go through the motions of setting up all the stuff, all the dependencies, all the pack, all the project information. We do have, we do officially have a GitHub address that we can reach for our documentation. So boom, right there. We'll set those, all those as the links. And then finally comes submitting the package. And we're going to just initiate a publish because we've already authenticated early on with everything. And I already have everything already set up for us. So let's do X publish. Oh. Let's see, is that correct? That... Throw me off for a second. <laughs> All righty. Let's see. Missing field licenses and links. I don't know about you, but I seem to see licenses right there. Oh, we had to do it under the package. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I did that without committing anything. Make sure to push that. And publish. All right, let's take a look at this information here. So we're publishing Uber off Patreon, all this information here, version one, zero, well, tools mix. There's the link to the GitHub. We're good. Got to type in my password. And we officially Uber auth Patreon under our belt. Published to the docs. Now let's take a look at it. XPM.
There we go. Boom. So within the past couple hours, we went from, you know, going from scratch, scaffolding up a pro scaffolding up a mixed project, pop setting up all the variations, setting all the, all the stru kind of structures, updating the docs, updating the readme. Scaffolding a new application, Phoenix application, installing it from GitHub, having to make updates because when we were, when we had made the changes, not everything was working. So we did two different flows, one where we committed the changes and then pushed them up and then pulled them down onto into the project by using the depths update, or we could have went the separate route if it's too tedious of being, of pushing changes and pulling them down and doing that, we could luckily go straight into the dependency code, make updates there, and then use depths compile specifically that package and recompile the code to see how we can fix it. So then we can take those changes and put them back into the project and commit those changes once we're ready, good and ready. So we, we definitely went through a whole flow of things and it was a journey. But it was a good journey. And we published a package that I needed sorely. And now anyone else can use it. So awesome. All right, folks, take it easy. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And hopefully uh you learned something new. I'll catch you next time. Peace.